The summer is one of the hardest times to collect blood and platelet donations. So as a result of that, the American Red Cross has an urgent need for donors right now. Our Keely Arthur joins us live at the Red Cross building on Madison's west side this morning with some more information on how you can help. Good morning, Keely. Good morning, Adam and Danica. Well, people across the country and right here in Dane County have answered the Red Cross's call for donations, but the shortage still remains pretty critical. I'm here with me, Rick Roseneck of the Red Cross to explain why we are seeing such low levels of blood and platelet donations. Yes, between uh, April and June, we had about 39,000 less donations than we expected. Uh -huh. Now, on top of that, the summer, people are on vacation, they're traveling, they don't have as much time to donate. Students are out of school, so they're not available to donate. And so we need more blood now. Uh, the blood is coming off the shelves faster than we are restocking it. So we need to have people come in and donate. Absolutely. And it's really easy to donate, isn't it? It's very easy. You can come in. Um, you can go to our www.redcrossblood.org and sign up. Find out where the blood drives are. Fill out our donor app. Or you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS. Excellent. And it's very easy to find a place to donate. And how long does it take to donate? It takes about an hour. And it, you can come in. You can fill out the rapid pass ahead of time in the morning. It'll maybe save you 10 or 15 minutes. It's not long, maybe an hour long. It's painless. It's pretty quick. And you can a lot of benefit from it. How much does one, you know, one hour of donating blood, what does that do for people who need blood? It basically supplies blood on the shelves for people who have accidents, for people who have surgeries. You can save someone's life by basically coming in for an hour and giving blood. That's awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much, Rick. And as the Red Cross has said, they are in a dire need for blood and platelet donations. If you want to help, you can head over to the Madison East location. That's at 2109 Zire Road. They are open from noon to 6.30 p.m. Or you can head over to where I'm at. That's at the Madison West location at 4860 Sheboygan Ave from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday. And if you want to get a full list of places to donate, you can head over to redcrossblood.org and just type in your zip code. And I'll send it back to you, Danica and Adam. Yeah, pretty easy stuff. It's easy and it helps a lot of folks. So important. All yeah. right, Keely, thank you so much. Appreciate it. The summer wrapping up in school right around the corner. This is a pretty hectic time for a lot of people. Yeah, but Red Cross officials are asking people to take a few minutes out of their busy schedules to help donate blood and fight a major shortage that the Red Cross is seeing nationwide mm -hmm. right now. Keely Arthur is in for Eden this week, who's on vacation. She joins us from the Red Cross on Madison's west side with more. Good morning, Keely. Good morning. Well, the need for blood and platelet donations really never stops. In fact, every two seconds in the U.S., someone needs blood, which is why this situation is so dire. And I have here with me Rick Rosnick of the Red Cross, and he said that things are a little bit more difficult because we're missing those college kids this time of year. That's right, Keely. Uh, donors age is 18 to 24, constitute about 25% of our donors. Wow. So when they're gone and not available, that's a significant impact on our donor total, total, total donor registration. Absolutely. I was a student here, and I gave a little bit more blood when I was a student than I do now. So definitely something to think about. And you said it's pretty easy for anyone, though, to come down to here and donate. Sure. You can come down here to donate. You can go to redcrossblood.org, put in your zip code, and find where the local blood drives are. Or you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS. We also have a donor app that you can register on and a rapid pass where you can do your health history the morning before, the morning of donations saves you some time. So it's really easy to do it. Absolutely. And does the blood that is donated here, does it stay local or where does it go? We take care of local needs first with our blood, but we also have a national inventory system where we can ship blood to areas that it's needed. Absolutely. And you said it's a really quick and painless process. It is. It doesn't take long. It takes about an hour at tops. It's painless. You can come here, you can have snacks, you yeah. can talk to people. It's really a pleasant experience, so everybody should come down and try it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Rick. And as Rick said, if you want to donate, there's really two locations to go to today. There's one on the Madison East Side, and that's at 2109 Zire Road. They're open for donations from noon to 6.30 p.m., 
or you can head over to the Madison West location where I'm at right now. That's 4860 Sheboygan Avenue. They'll be open for donations from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. And if you're outside of the Dane County area and you still want to donate, you can log on to redcrossblood.org. You just type in your zip code and you can find the nearest donation center to you. Dana Khan Adam, really important stuff. Yeah, Keely, thanks so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate it.